All right, peace and love, y'all. It's your boy Motel Mari. Um, I'm gonna get into a quick read. Um, I've been promising my legal friends and welcome to Motel Mari TV. Make sure y'all like and subscribe. But I've been promising my legal friends I do a legal reading. So this is for my legals, all right? Please explore, okay? Thank you. Let's go down with the legal. Hit them horns. 7.26, good clap. On the 15th, some of y'all could be born on the 15th or the 6th. Some of y'all could be have Capricorn and be dealing with a Capricorn or a Gemini. Some of y'all could be dealing with addictions or with somebody that has addictions. I see the Libra, I see the Justice card. Somebody feel like they missed that out on the opportunity. Nine of Pentacles, somebody single, 911, somebody had to call 911, 911, pick up the engine number, 911, 106 was on the clock when that happened, yeah, Six of Cups, somebody in the past, Justice System, 17, somebody could be healing the past, like soulmate could be healing from something, or want to heal something, well, Cancer by Scorpio might want to heal something with you, uh, I preach that some of y'all could be intuitive, yeah, some of y'all could be intuitive, some of y'all, Y'all soldiers for the most high God. Shout out to my leaders, Will of Fortune. If that's so, a lot of y'all are going to find yourself in positions of power 11 and 10, 22. Yeah, you're going to find yourself with uh, positions of power, Aries energy, you hit the horns. You're seeing 144. Some of y'all part of the 144, 144,000. Shout out to my light workers out there. Shout out to my light workers, people that work for the most high God. Yeah, 511. Some of y'all going to be born May 11th. Uh, 11 for the 5th, 11, 16, yeah, 16. Uh, yeah, y'all was born to expose. Shout out to my light workers. That's Libras, Queen of Wands. Shout out to my Earth Angels. That's Libras. Some of y'all born on the 14th for the 5th. Libra, Libra, 212 on the clock, 212 on the clock, 212. Yeah, that breaks. I said some of y'all born on the 5th, 212, 25. Yeah, just, you know, just show you how we in tune with the universe. You know what I mean? So what's going on with Libra? What's going on? With my Libra friends Cause it goes on and on again Some people started singing And I know what it was So we'll continue singing this However just because This is the song that never ends and it goes on and on Some of y'all can feel like y'all stuck in a cycle uh, 258 on the clock, there's 12, they go 12, 12, and number for being stuck. Some of y'all have Pisces energy, some of y'all can feel like y'all stuck in a cycle. Four wands, four wands, 15, yeah, number 15. A low frequency people who are dealing with addictions, or just a Capricorn, or being changed to something. Yeah, did I say being changed to something? Y'all could be feeling burdened. Burdened. Burdened could have something to do with the justice system, or somebody didn't do you right. Libra any Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Uh, 10 and 11, 21, somebody can go on the 21st, 12, or the 3rd. That's all Libra energy right there. All right, what's going on with Libra? How Libra doing? How Libra doing? Shout out to my Libra Collective. You know, now to get in reading, uh, contact with me for me, a person reading this for the Libra Collective, so everything not going to fit. You know what I mean? But it should hit. Uh, how Libra feeling right now? How my Libra feeling? Show me Libra's energy. I'm going to leave this film. I'm going to leave this film. Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands. Y'all can be feeling defensive. Feel like you got to guard yourself. Y'all can be feeling guarded. Feel like you got to defend yourself. Could be dealing with every zero Sagittarius energy. Somebody could be born on the 9th, 18th, 27th. Yeah, Page of Sports. Yeah, you got, uh, you got people wa watching you, spying, watching you. Nine of Wands, you can feel defensive, you can feel like you guys somebody watching you, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy, every zero side of the Tavis energy. Yeah. You can feel like you guys somebody watching you. Tell me more. Oh, yeah, it do look like you got somebody watching you. I mean, that could be the ancestors, but you can, you can have somebody watching you, though. I see you guarded. I see you guarded, or somebody guarded. You got Aquarius, yeah. I see you could be watching somebody. Aquarius and Gemini, you could be watching somebody every single Sagittarius energy. You could be watching a fire sign and be connected to a fire sign. But that could be you. It could be somebody watching you. You have four pentacles. 
Capricorn towards Virgo energy. Okay. Capricorn towards Virgo energy. Yeah, the moon. Yeah. Moon. 18. You got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in your chart. The moon. I feel like you don't, you don't trust something right now. You are either somebody watching you or you don't trust somebody. You got you don't trust somebody. You watching somebody. Uh, every single Sagittarius energy, Capricorn towards Virgo energy. You feel like 13. 13, you could have to end with somebody or somebody ending or death or something. You feel like somebody holding back, somebody holding back information, holding back their energy and time. Or well, this could be you feeling guarded, holding back your energy because uh, you don't trust somebody. Or you could, look, take this either way. I feel like you watching somebody because you don't trust somebody. You watch somebody because you don't trust somebody. Every zero Sagittarius, somebody could be holding back or you could be going through an ending with a fire sign or an earth sign. Or there's somebody watching you and you feeling guarded. All right. Somebody can be born on the 13th or the 4th. Somebody can be born on the 18th. Somebody can be born on the 9th, the 4th, the 18th. All right. I don't remember. Your five of wands, yeah, definitely. Every zero Sagittarius energy. Six of wands, victory. Yeah, I feel like, you know, you was watching. He was watching somebody, some, I don't know, some, secretly somebody was watching and spying. You know what I mean? You could be a public figure, but you got the victory in something. Nine of Wands, somebody was feeling defensive. Somebody, you could have been assaulted by somebody. Somebody feeling defensive. Four of Pentacles, holding back their time, energy, or resources. Five of Wands, putting you in competition or fighting with somebody. It was those had the energy. We got the numbers nine, four, thirteen. So 9 is an ending, 13 is a, is a complete ending, 13, 13 plus 5, 18 is the moon. So 9, you know, having an ending and feeling guarded, 13, having an ending because somebody was holding back time, money, or resources, 18, the moon, uh, you found out You found out about other competition, or you find out but somebody trying to compete with you or, or a group of people or something like that. Uh, 5 and 11, you got justice on or you will get justice, you will be victorious. Somebody was holding back some secrets, Capricorn towards Virgo energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, 18, somebody could be born on the 18th with a 4th, 18 and 4, 22, it could be a father figure or a boss or Aries or a father figure that you're dealing with or take this vice versa, male or female. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, somebody feeling defeated and feeling foolish. Okay. Okay. Goddamn, Libra. Shit. Yeah, so either you didn't trust somebody, every single Sagittarius energy, because uh, you, cause, you know, you felt like they was holding secrets, holding back money, time, resources, Capricorn towards Virgo energy, Cancer by Scorpio energy. And uh, you could be doing something for the public. You could be doing something like a public figure and somebody put you in competition or you had to fight. You had to fight, or somebody you had to uh, literally fight with somebody, or somebody put you in competition, and you know, but now you're victorious about it. What's this five of wands? I'm gonna name this reading all my life. I had to fight. Right then. Yeah, seven of swords. Yeah, these people was doing some sneaky shit. Somebody was trying to get away with some shit. Aquarius with Gemini energy. Uh, it looked like the people that we fighting. This could be you or them. Somebody was trying to get away with, yeah, hermit mode. It's that Virgo energy. Somebody was uh, getting away with something, but somebody saw something, or somebody was secretly trying to do some shit, or somebody was trying to get away with somebody, and somebody got caught. Virgo energy, Aquarius, with Gemini energy. Seven, nine. Whether it's love, life, or whatever it is, this could be somebody cheating. This could be somebody trying to get away with something, nine and six. Yeah, that's a tower moment. The 16th, somebody could be dealing with a Scorpio. Somebody could be born on the 16th. Number 7 could mean something. But yeah, somebody got caught doing something sneaky and it caused a tower moment. Yeah. Yeah. This was a, uh, this could have been like a past life soulmate. Can't somebody Scorpio energy, Aquarius, with Gemini energy. Yeah, that you had to move away, move away from, uh, move away from. Because they had you stuck, Aquarius, with Gemini energy. Yeah, somebody feel like they missed out on an opportunity. But damn. Okay. I see you being victorious. What's this victory about? What's this six of wands about? Well, first of all, what's that moon? Why that moon there? Why that moon there? 
And while you was watching, why were you was watching? Why was somebody watching you? Why is somebody? Why is that page of swords there? Why that page of swords? Well, the fortune. Somebody, somebody could be watching somebody's money, resources, or something like that. Let's see. Well, the fortune. Yeah, somebody is watching somebody's money. Ten to nine. Somebody could be born on the tenth, the ninth, number nineteen could mean something. Somebody was watching somebody. Yeah, was fulfillment. Yeah, somebody was uh, watching. Somebody become successful or be like a nine of pentacles and abundant energy, 19 happy, nine of pentacles, somebody was wishing, wishing. Yeah, like somebody was uh, like a wishing, like a wish fulfillment. And they went, they felt like they could be a 10 of pentacles, cancer by Scorpio energy, Sagittarius energy, Capricorn to a Virgo energy. You got the nine of pentacles, will of fortune look like somebody is already successful, but now they just need their wish fulfillment. You know what I mean? With fulfillment, this could be a lover. Number 19, somebody could be dealing with a Leo. Or number 19, with fulfillment. It's to make them their Ten of Pentacles. So somebody could be single, looking for a lover. Looking for their soulmate to make them their Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, what's this Ten of Pentacles about? What's this Ten of Pentacles about? It's nine. It's the Nine of Pentacles. So somebody going to bring an offer, but it's slow to make it to Ten of Pentacles. What's this Ten of Pentacles about? This is Ten of Pentacles about. This is Ten of Pentacles about. Show me the Ten of Pentacles for Libra. Show me the Ten of Pentacles for Libra. Yeah, there you go. Ten of Cups. That's a happy relationship. That could be a home. Purchase of a home. A happy relationship. That could be a marriage. Can't buy Scorpio energy. 80 wands. Moving fast. 18 the moon. 80 wands. Yeah, some of y'all could be moving. Some of y'all could be moving or you could get some combo. Get some, uh, Get a, a message about 18, uh, the moon, something secretly that somebody want to be in a relationship with you or want to marry you. This could be a proposal, this could be a news about a new home. Uh, yeah, night of swords, night of swords, yeah, eight of swords, nine of swords. But somebody gonna be in the nine of swords, somebody gonna be in the nine of swords, Aquarius, but Gemini energy. So somebody might get some information about somebody being married or. Hate somebody secretly being married or take this advice versa or, or that somebody want to marry them. But not the swords, eight of swords, somebody gonna be uh and the nine of swords though. Somebody gonna be trapped in their head. Why they gonna be trapped in their head? Purposely for Gemini and this could be you or them. They're gonna be trapped in their head. Why they gonna be trapped in their head? Yeah, they're gonna ten of swords. Cause somebody gonna feel betrayed. Why? Yeah, three of wands, waiting for their ships to come in. Thirteen, yeah, some thirteen feel like the death or an cause somebody feel betrayed. Somebody stabbed somebody in the back when their back was turned, or somebody stabbed somebody in the back and left and turned their back on somebody. Every single so Sagittarius, Aquarius, and Gemini energy. What's this Ten of Swords? Yeah, somebody going through in and out of Swords because somebody betrayed somebody and turned their back. Thirteen is going to cause an end. What's this Ten of Swords? What's the Ten of Swords? Why the Ten of Swords? The Aquarius, the Gemini energy. Eight of Pentacles. That's somebody at work. What they work? Yeah, town moment. Town moment. Yeah, somebody could um somebody could lose their job. Somebody could have a fight at work. Somebody could lose their job. It could be an explosion. It could be an accident at work. Sixteen and eight equal twenty-four. Somebody could be born on the twenty-fourth. Twenty-four break down to six. Six. This could have happened in the past, or this could have happened to a loved one. It could have been like an accident at work, or it's gonna be a tower moment or something that they're working on. Yeah, what's this eight of pentacles in the tower for Libra? This is Eight of Pentacles in the Tower for Libra. Eight of Pentacles in the Tower. Yeah, oh, four wands, four wands. Okay, that's about a home or a relationship or a commitment. What about it? Nine of Cups. Yeah, somebody wanna. Oh, uh, so you could have went with a Tower moment. You could have went through a Tower moment. Yeah, with, with a Capricorn to a Virgo or a Scorpio or at work or something like that. Or something you was working on, or this your love life, you could have went through a time moment. Yeah, but somebody want to work on something, it's like a house right here. Somebody might offer somebody to come to somebody's house, or somebody might offer somebody to be in a relationship. Yeah, or somebody thinking about this right now. This could be you thinking about this, Aquarius of Gemini energy. Uh, what else? Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. Capricorn to us. We're going to the Ten of Pentacles. What about the Ten of Pentacles? Yeah, three of cups. Yeah, it's like a celebration. This could be like a marriage or a celebration. Y'all could be going out to a date. Y'all could be going out to an event. 
a ten of pentacles. That's like a marriage. That's like a yeah, so that's like a celebration. Thirteen. It's called, this could be a, a funeral, or this could be this could either be a funeral. This could be a date. Number thirteen, because thirteen could be an end. This could be a funeral. This could be a date, or this could be a wedding. What about it? Nine of wands, seven of wands, eight of wands. It's gonna be some communication. It's gonna be some communication. Somebody might. Knight of Wands, every so you might get some communication from a fire sign. Knight of Wands that was in and out, seven of Wands, and somebody had to block. But Eight of Wands, something gonna happen real fast. Somebody might send somebody real fast to invite somebody out on a date or something like that, or to an event or something like that. Um, somebody heartbroken. This could be a Leo that's heartbroken. We could be dealing with a Leo or a fire sign. Uh, tell me about this event. High priestess, high priestess, intuition, the chariot, the chariot, the high priestess, and the chariot, regretting the king of wands, the high priestess, and the chariot, the high priestess. So somebody might, uh, somebody might need your intuition and using your intuition and you need, using somebody's intuition. Somebody could be, be a psychic medium. Somebody could be religious. Uh, to, uh, to move forward in life. Somebody could be talking to like a counselor or a religious person to help them move forward. They could be going, uh, what's this high priestess there for? Yeah, Eight of Cups. Mostly walking away. They're starting healing. So somebody, Aquarius Energy, Kansas by Scorpio, somebody could have mostly walked away from somebody or somebody could have passed away or something like that. Somebody healing from that. Somebody could be talking to a psychic medium, a third person, somebody about that. Yeah. Somebody's mother could have passed away too. What's this chariot right here? Cancer energy. Number seven could mean something. What's this chariot right here? Yeah, that's the truth from God moving forward. Getting truth, so somebody could have did some uh, talk to a psychic or a medium or religious person to help them move forward and to help them get more clarity now that you're on, on the road. That could be you to get truth and clarity. Yeah, you could be working with people, working with other, working with other people to get truth and clarity about what. Yeah, and, and you're trying to manifest work, truth and clarity, working with other people to get truth and clarity, become the better you. And right now, you manifesting, you the magician. You know what I mean? And, you know, how to manifest. You know, you could be working on your spiritual, your chakras. You know what I mean? You could be working on yourself, becoming a magician. You could be working on your crown. Uh, the magician. Number eight could mean something. But, yeah, the magician. Um, number 13 keep coming up. So, you could have Scorpio or Aries in your chart. Yeah, and you definitely manifesting a new beginning. In percentage, you fool fool right now. Total deeper energy right now. So, yeah. Yeah, that was a lot right there. All right? 33, Queen of Swords. Somebody better, though. Taurus Libra energy. You could be better against a mother figure. 33, or number six could mean something. You could be, you could have had a cut off of Taurus or Libra, or it could be uh, Aquarius Libra Gemini energy that's bitter over a mother figure or a mother figure. Something about, uh, this could be sisters, this could be mothers, this could be somebody arguing with each other. Two women. Yeah. Two women. Yeah. Something about the number. Somebody passed judgment on somebody. Somebody could be a Capricorn or Cancer by a Scorpio energy. Somebody feeling real bad like they lost everything. Somebody could be addicted to something. Drug, sex, alcohol, whatever it is. And it affected their judgment. Now, heartbroken, King of Wines, Leo. It could be a Leo or a Fire Sign or a Corvus Libra Gemini that's heartbroken. Yeah. 12, 14, that want to reconcile, they feel stuck, they feel cut off. Yeah, death, 17, Aquarius energy, somebody actually could have died, or somebody could have got sick, but I see a death in force, well, I see a death and somebody landed in a casket, so that's even deep. Number 17, somebody could be born on the 17th for the 8th, with this Aquarius, the Gemini energy, and Scorpio energy. Yeah, judgment, Six of Pentacles, it could have been like a payout, or like a, a life insurance policy. 20, 26, and 8, 8, 8, about, uh, about, yeah, it could have been like some money paid out, yeah, yeah, all right, Libra, 1955 on the clock, yeah.